welcome back to chemistry paper 2 a level last minute tips now i'm recording this video before i've even done my paper one so i can't even say how that went i hope that one goes well by the time i upload this video i would have already done this paper but now i don't want to focus on that paper i'm going to talk about paper two the organic and the physical paper this one also has physical as well as the first paper but this one's now got organic instead of inorganic you should already know that i don't know why i'm telling you that there's one thing in this paper that you should Guys, sorry, I'm getting a phone call. Uh, just give me a second, guys. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to tell them. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Someone just called me asking me to let you guys know that mechanisms, <laughs> you should know them really, really well. If you haven't gone over your mechanisms, I'm talking about nucleophilic substitution, electrophilic addition, nucleophilic addition, electrophilic substitution. What are you doing? Please go over them. It's so, so easy when you know them, but it's so, so easy to lose those marks if you don't know them. And for some reason, they're always a really heavy chunk of marks, right? You'd get like five marks just for writing out the mechanism. It's free, free marks if you know what you're doing. But if you don't know what you're doing, you're losing all the marks. Go learn them. And when I say learn them do them a bunch of times with all sorts of different types of alkenes and alkanes and alcohols just so you know how to do them in unfamiliar scenarios because sometimes you might get a nucleophilic substitution right which normally you might be good at but you might get it for something that you've never seen before and then you start confusing yourself and then you're like how am i going to draw it on this huge molecule but you really want to make sure that you're able to adapt and be versatile with the different types of molecules and things you get i want you to not only do mechanism practice for all of these but also to try and do them in skeletal formula if you don't because I've seen questions where they make you do it in skeletal formula and you have to draw the mechanism and the arrows on top of the skeletal form and if you haven't done that before it might be a bit confusing that's why I just want you guys to make sure that you have done it obviously okay so that's one thing the mechanisms another thing is your reagents and your conditions what I mean by that is you know organic synthesis as that topic you just know all of that super super well so I made this a while back it's just all the different alkene, alcohol, aldehyde, ketone, hydroxy, nitrile, acyl chloride, all of those different things, all on one piece of paper, and just simply the reagents, the type of reactions, the conditions, and like example mechanisms for every single one of these. This is all the mechanisms you need to know, apart from the benzene stuff. All of those things aren't on here, but I've done everything else here. For example, if you've got a primary alcohol and you want to change that into an aldehyde and a carboxylic acid, by now you should know that's acidified potassium dichromate. I'm underlining the word acidified. Make sure you write that word down if that comes up. You always need to write the fact that it's in some sort of acid. And if you're ever worried about what type of acid for anything I'm talking about, right? 90% of the time, if you write sulfuric acid, you'll be right. Because hydrochloric acid, a lot of the time, it won't be a good acid because it would produce toxic HCl gas. So if you're ever lost, put sulfuric acid down as a condition. Here are the like answers for it as well. Don't worry, I will leave this down below in the description. It's just another one of my random resources that I made that I just completely forgot about. So that's the like memorizing aspect of things another thing that you need to know that's like the really small aspects of every single topic so starting from alkenes all the way down to carboxylic acids dna polymers all that stuff every single topic has a tiny bit of it that's just really irrelevant for some reason that's just there because aqa wants it to be there an equation or it's like a process it's really really small and insignificant you'd think but they always come up for some reason like i'm talking about soap one thing in particular that for some reason always just goes out of my head if you don't know what i mean by soap i'm talking about the carboxylic acid acid topic or is it the ester topic i think those are both the same topic but there's a really small part of that that asks you about how soaps are made and i don't know why it exists but it does and sometimes you get a lot of questions on it there's a lot of questions where it's like uses and you have to write the exact use and it's just so random that if you don't know it then you've lost the mark so just go over every single topic look at the specification right open the specification this is really important for this paper and just look at the very last parts of every single topic there's bound to be a few things that you probably haven't even seen before you hadn't seen in a long time that you want to go over just to make sure that you know them so that's that i've talked about the organic synthesis things as well and the mechanisms another thing is nmr you either love nmr or you hate nmr okay i don't know what i'm saying i think all of us hate nmr i don't think it's possible to like nmr if we get six marker on nmr my best advice and this is something i normally do they give you the carbon 13 and the proton nmr and they give you maybe like the infrared spectrum as well or something right and you can pick out all the information from them and just just by stating those information, so stating the peaks, stating the ranges for where everything's happening, you'll get most of the marks. You're going to get nearly all the marks for doing that.
that. And the last mark is always just finding the structure, but it's always the one that takes the longest time. It wastes so much time. It's literally guesswork. You have to guess through different things until you get the right one. And I personally, what I would say is I would skip this one. I'd do the rest of the thing. So I'd state everything down, but then the guessing part, I would skip and I'd come back to when I have the time to. I'm not going to sit there for at least 10 minutes, just going through every single scenario and trying to work out which one will it work for. Because for me, my brain can't do that. <laughs> if you can, go ahead, do it. But I personally, I'm going to skip that section, that very last section of that type of question, if it does come up, just because it's a waste of time for me. I'd rather spend that time on the other questions. And obviously, if I do have the time, I'd come back to it and make sure I figure it out. And yeah, with that being said, I think one final thing I want to leave you guys with is don't neglect the physical side. There's going to be a few topics in this that's going to be from physical chemistry that's going to pop up in this paper as well. And if you've just been focusing on organic, you might have forgotten how to do those topics. To so make sure you go over those topics and understand them very well and revise them as well as you can on top of these organic topics, especially like amount of substance. You could easily get a six mark maths question in this paper as well. It's really important to focus on the physical side and don't neglect that too. That's all I have to say for this paper. I can't lie. I don't have much else. Just know your mechanisms in and out and you'll be fine. And do your exam questions. That should be more than enough. That's what I'm going to be doing. If you have any other tips, leave them down below. I will very much appreciate it. We're all trying to help each other out here. Apart from that, I guess it's time to revise now. Bye for now. This week is going to be the heaviest week for me. I've got chemistry, then I've got biology, then I've got maths, and then I've got chemistry again. I don't know if I'm going to survive. But yeah, bye for now. Good luck. And I'll see you very soon.